You're watching Gears. Brought to you by LMC Truck. Keep them on the road. Hey, welcome to Gears. You know, one of the most popular projects that we've done on the show is this old international cab over that we're turning into a wild tow truck called Heavy Metal. Now, you haven't seen it for a while because we sent the cab off to the Hot Rod Institute where they put some paint on it. But now that it's back, we're in the process of reassembling the cab to get ready to go down on that chassis. So let's get back to it. Now, so far we have the seat and we have the dash in place, but as you can see, we don't have any gauges, we don't have any switches, we don't have any vents, we don't have anything. And since that's kind of important stuff, now is the time to lay it all out while you have complete access to everything. Okay, this is the layout of the original dash. And the first thing that you need to decide on any project is what are you going to keep and what are you going to reuse. For example, this driver's side panel is in really good shape and we like the location of the gauges because they're centered right over the steering column. So we're going to keep that. We're also going to keep the location of the light switch. What we're not going to keep is this original 90 mile an hour speedometer and this original multi-gauge because those were marginally accurate from the factory. So we went to Classic Instruments and got a modern 140 mile an hour speedometer with a little tack right there in the center. So we got two gauges happening where there was only one before. And of course it's designed to slip right in the original mounting hole. Now for the second gauge, we like the idea of the multi-gauge, but obviously these aren't accurate. So we went back to Classic Instruments, had them put together a modern multi-gauge for us. This has temperature, volts, fuel and oil, and once again, designed to fit right into the stock hole. Now the original gauges used these mounting holes to mount the gauge from behind. So we got some holes to deal with. So we got these indicator lights from Painless Performance. We're going to put a green one here and a green one here for our turn signal indicators left and right. Then we're going to do a blue one here in the center for our high beam. Then these two down below we will put amber for our emergency flashers. And finally, since we're going to use air assist on the brakes like the truck originally had, I'm going to reuse the original air gauge until I find something I like better. Moving over to the passenger side, this panel is in excellent shape and we're definitely going to keep this U.S. Department of the Navy plaque that is part of the history of this truck, man, we got to have that. The center panel is where we got some issues. As you can tell, there are a lot of holes here that we are not going to reuse and we still have a lot of stuff that we need to put in this dash. So you got two choices here. You can either weld up these holes or you can just make a new panel out of aluminum and start over. A lot of times, this is the simplest, easiest way to go. Okay, that lays out the basic gauges and panels. Now here's what we have to add to this. Picked up some extra gauges from Classic Instruments, so we need a place for those. We're adding vintage air, so we need a place for the controller. Then we need to choose some vents and find a place for those. Now, you can get rectangular vents, you can get round vents, just kind of depends on how you want the panels to look. Now, we also got a new ignition switch and a headlight switch. We know where those are going to go, but we don't know where the new wiper switch is going to go. So we got to find a place for that. And this is just stuff we have. Now there's going to be some switches for the emergency lights on top of the truck. There's going to be a stereo system. There's going to be a lot of other things. And obviously you can't lay out a panel until you have everything. So we're going to leave this one blank for now, but we are going to choose some vents and put them in the outer panels.
Now that's more like it. This is starting to look like a dash that we can use. Now another decision you need to make is what color your panels are going to be. Obviously these are painted, this is brushed metal, you can put upholstery on it, you got a lot of choices here. But whatever you do, it needs to match the headliner, the door panels, the seat upholstery, everything else. So it's best to get everything in place before you make that final decision. Okay, moving outside, the next thing that we're going to put on are mirrors. Because every big truck has got to have some big mirrors. You can't put little tiny hot rod mirrors on a truck like this that is a functional tow truck. Fortunately, the original brackets on the truck were in good shape. So we had the Hot Rod Institute paint those. Now all we have to do is put them on. The upper braces go on first, and new hardware is a must, as well as a new rubber gasket any place the braces contact the body. This will protect the body and prevent rust from starting between the pieces. The lower braces are next, and they are supported by an upper cross brace. Next comes the mirror bracket, and finally the new mirrors finish off the assembly and give us something to repeatedly bang our heads on when we're working on the truck.